taasisi ya utafiti wa uvuvi ya zindua vizimba vya plastiki venye umbo la mviringo vya ufugaji wa samaki baharini eneo la kijiweni huko Shimoni kaunti ya Kwale wakulima wa mpunga kaunti ya Kirinyaga ni miongoni mwa wakulima walionufaika kwenye mpango wa ruzuku ya mbolea ya zao hilo wakazi wa kaunti ndogo ya Nyatike kaunti ya Migori wataka kuongezwa kwa shamba la unyonyeziaji maji la kuja ili kuhudumia na kuwafadhili wakulima zaidi Karibu tena mtazamaji lakini moja kwa moja basi tuangalie Agri Nation ambapo tunazungumzia mashine ya kukama mkukamwa ngombe tazama hii Welcome to today's segment of Agrination and as you can see in my background there are dairy cows so dairy farmers and anyone interested in dairy farming take a front row seat this one is for you the technology we are about to show you right now is a milking machine that helps in making your work easy especially if you have high yielding cows and the person that will be taking us through this process is everybody's favorite uncle uncle Fred Obachimachoka and the wife Mrs Sophie Machoka. Come along, let's meet them and learn so much about the milking machine. This is Kenya's gold. The famous culprit is back at the ranch because I love Hi. this place so much. Hi, Papa. How are you? How are you? How is the little girl? The little girl is doing well, mm. growing to become a farmer each and every day. Good dream. Yes. yes. Your, good your, dream, your, right? Your dreams are valid. They are valid. <laughs> <laughs> now, today we are not going to be working in the farm yeah. or going to the chicken like we did. Yeah. We want to talk about the milking yeah. machine. Please tell Tell us more yeah. about this machine kwa sababu tumetembelea wakulima wengi na tunafanya tu ile yetu ya mkono ya kukamua ya kukamua. Hiyo pia ni poa. We have uh, quite a, a few cows around and uh, you need the exercise to go a bit fast so that you can do other things and feed the animals mm -hmm. it's not all about just sitting the whole day milking and the machines do a pretty good job because mm -hmm. uh, within a few minutes uh, you got your milk mm -hmm. ready of course there is the aspect of cleanliness there is the aspect of uh, making sure that it is done fast now when we speak to farmers we have seen the hygiene practices that they put in place before they start milking yeah. Yes. you have to clean your hands yes. you know so when you're using this machine yes. what are the practices i need to do prior to also make sure i observe high standards of hygiene the udder has to be cleaned by mm -hmm. warm water wiped properly so that it is ready and then uh, after you have done the milking that is when uh, someone physically clears the milk if there is any milk that remained when the machine was agitating and then uh, there is the disinfectant dip that one has to apply to make sure that uh, it not only cleans the teeth but it also blocks seals the it seals the opening of the teeth you mentioned that <laughs> After yes. you use the machine, someone yes. has to do again physically. Yeah, just, What's the just danger? The dog, just to yeah. make sure that there's nothing remaining. What's the danger the of not doing that? If milk remains in the udder, it is easy for the cow to develop what they call mastitis. You know, that milk has already been released by the cow for either the animal to suckle, you know, originally for the calf to suck and clear if it is a milking cow once it gets into the milking area it sucks itself to release a certain amount of milk that is available and that milk must be cleared from the udder so that it can start developing more milk ule ngombe mwenye kwa hapo mwenye anatoa maziwa mingi sana anaitwa grace anaitwa grace oh yes. clearly the grace is sufficient <laughs> anatoa litre kama ngapi in one uh, milking process na ukitumia the machine it takes how many minutes to accomplish that the whole day she gives us 40 liters it depends on what time the morning milk it is about uh, 18 then uh, another 12 and then the balance comes uh, in the evening because we milk three times mm -hmm. there is the 3 to 4 am mm -hmm. milking mm -hmm. then there is uh, the 11 o'clock milking mm -hmm. and then the 6 o'clock milking mm -hmm. so, so the morning milk is when we get she releases 
like 18 Hires. liters. Yes. Now with the machine, it takes how many minutes to milk that? That takes less than five minutes. So it really saves on the work. Yes, oh. it does. All right. Yeah, so yeah. How, do, how does it operate the machine? Using electricity or what does it use? It uses electricity, it can use biogas, it can use uh, it can solar. Buy diesel. It is, yeah, solar. even diesel. The process is suction, mm -hmm. the system. It's like those teeth you put, you saw every teeth being fixed there, mm -hmm. it just sucks. What are the cost implications they'll have to patch it roughly? About 300,000. So it's not, it's not a cheap machine. No, it doesn't come. Nothing, nothing comes nothing. cheap. Those are some of the things that discourage people from getting into farming. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think the government has to have a program for the farmer mm -hmm. where farmers can buy items on higher patches. Because, yes, you sell the milk daily, but you don't get an amount like 300,000 shillings daily. You get probably 3,000. Mm. 2000 so you can afford to buy that 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 machine but it's not at once mm -hmm. yeah that is the challenge so how do you take care of our machine the detergent specific for cleaning the machine mm -hmm. there are gadgets because you know there are pipes and tubes they have to be cleaned you have to have hot water that is where our biogas comes in good mm -hmm. because they keep on boiling water and make sure that water is real hot for cleaning of the entire system but you know there is also an automated way of cleaning with the detergent through the tubes mm -hmm. yeah which is electric but all in all despite the challenges it has really helped making Thank you very much you. for talking to us on the milking machine. I believe now our farmers have an idea of what they need to do to increase, you know, productivity in their spaces of agricultural practices. And yeah. Thank you so much. All right, there you've had it still here at Uncle Fred's farm. chai. milk. that's the joy of coming to Uncle Fred's farm. There's just good things that happen. Fred's ranch. Yes. Original maziwa. I hope you, the farmer back at home, have taken down some notes and now you know what to do just to improve your practices in your farm. Keep watching Kenya's Go because we will be putting you on the know on all matters agriculture.